So I work on agriculture policy and we've been collaborating with FABI, which was a regional initiative from the headquarter collaborating and working in different uh, countries in the agri-policy, agriculture policy with uh, putting a huge uh, emphasize on uh, gender sensitivity issue. So uh, we've been implementing this in Egypt and I've been also having uh, meetings and coordination meetings with Fabi team from the colleagues in the headquarters. And we had the occasion to get to know more about SNRD in, uh, during my meeting in uh, Kenya, in Nairobi, last April. And then um, I got together to get to know more about the team here and accordingly. So, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Yes. I'm really looking forward to uh, learning from the overwhelming numbers of participants coming from uh, a very diverse African nations. And this is actually enriching a lot of the discussions and adding value a lot um, with all the specific themes which are technically related to my day-to-day -day work because we, we work on um, agriculture and food processing, transformation systems, starting from the government, negotiations and advocacy to the smallholder farmers. So we have to find the whole um, interesting success stories and the lessons learned from cross countries so we can get inspired by how other countries overcome some of our challenges, which is great. And also we can share our successes in dealing with different technical uh, issues in Egypt. I can talk more about the role of private sector on bringing the whole value chain and the agriculture and food systems because sometimes um, we keep on working on the supply level yeah. uh, with the farmers and sp smallholder farmers. Um, we keep on um, giving them awareness, providing them with the technicalities, seeds, varieties, etc. But we neglect the role, the important role of the private sector, which is crucial for the entire development of the value chain, because in the end, the private sector, they have the knowledge, they have the demand side, and in the end, we will make sure that the smallholder farmers, they are not ending up with their products unsold in the markets because they don't meet the criteria or meet uh, the expected varieties, etc. So um, a certain level of engagement with the private sector is needed for the development of the whole agriculture policies and agriculture institutions plus the food systems, of course. Yeah, actually, it's, it's a two-way thing. So I think SNRD, interestingly, brings the bigger picture. So uh, because usually in our day-to-day -day work, we are focused on our, you know, how can I get my job done? How can I get my, uh, what is expected from me? So I should focus on one, two, three, four. But sometimes we don't keep uh, the bigger, our eyes on the bigger picture. Because sometimes, for example, today we discussed new EU legis legislations and what is the impact of that on our work in Egypt or in other African countries. So sometimes really it's, it's awareness. So we are, we as a technical team also in, in our countries, we get to know more about the knowledge um, in, at the European Union level, on the German level, and also on the African level. So I'm sure that this is like an eye opening for me uh, to get to know more people and from their perspectives as EU policies, EU legislations, directives, etc. And what, what I can bring to the table is actually like what do we do in Egypt? How did we manage to overcome some challenges? How did we make this happen? How did we make like, for example, contract farming or how did we get engagement and full support and full um, ownership of the government institutions or the institutions that we collaborate with? Uh, as success with our, um, in all, across all the projects that we implement. So I think this is, uh, it, it's a win-win situation in the end. Okay, one final question, which is a bit provocative. We're using some digital tools, but in a way, what you're arguing for is sort of the opposite. It means that knowledge management should be done by talking to each other. <laughs> because uh, it's difficult to put everything into papers and writing and it's not that responsive. I'm just throwing a ball and you can pick it up. Eat. Yeah, well, um, I, I agree with you, but uh, we are really in a world now that is changing a lot. Every day we are having innovation coming everywhere. So, uh, and now what we are trying really to do in Egypt, for example, um, given my, the country where I work, uh, we are trying to introduce new technologies even for the smallholder farmers, you are now likely to find smallholder farmers having their, their uh, smartphones and how would this impact their uh, agriculture level, their climate change understanding, their crops, their marketing channels to 
uh, to the private sector, etc. So um, digitalization, it has a lot of opportunities that cannot be neglected. But I think maybe also during the COVID time, we, we were working like 100% on digital using and capitalizing on the digital tools. But I think now we are back to the human interaction, which adds a lot to the discussions and actually exchanging business cards and meeting people, discussing that this is actually something that we've been missing a lot uh, during the pandemic. So I'm really happy that we are back, uh, back on seeing each other and discussing and, and having, you know, shaking hands and and getting, getting networks um, and giving new horizons to our work. I'm very glad and very honored for the role that GIZ is playing on the African level. Um, I think uh, me as an African citizen coming from Egypt, I see that there's a lot of momentum now happening uh, with the, from the African Union, from the African Development um, uh, Bank, African Bank uh, for Export and Import. There is the new um, um, initiative for AFCEFTA, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. So I think now African countries, now they are um, eager to exchange and to trade among themselves. So uh, what is really interesting now with SNRD and um, the major part of the project that I worked on the regional level in Africa, you're hardly to find like a donor or an international partner that takes time and takes energy and budget to invest in the regional and south-south cooperation, which, which is really great. I'm very glad to see other African uh, colleagues working in different projects with a lot of similarities to our context. But I think this is great. Like we are also, as a GIZ, we are present on the regional level, not only on the bilateral level.